from a pile of parts to a machine that can move in just minutes. These Tanzanian secondary students study robotics for just one week, but their instructors hope that will be enough to make them think differently, even outside school. First of all, they're supposed to know what is the problem they are facing in their surroundings, in the, in the Tanzanian society. So after that, we are trying like to uh, relate them with how robots can be able to solve those kind of problems. The course teaches pupils to think for themselves. The students aren't told what to do. They're given an instruction book, a box of tiny components, and they have to work it out for themselves. It sounds quite difficult. Is it difficult? No, it's not. When you understand the book, the menu, and it's simpler to us because the instructors instructed us well, and we knew what to do, and now we're assembling the robot. It's a completely new way of learning for these teenagers. Wow, really fun. And when you see just like a robot walking, uh, you be, you're feeling happy because you have made by using your, using your mind. Once the teams have built their robots, they learn to program it. This course is offered by a company from South Korea, which wants to give them creativity and confidence. I thought that we, we are going just to learn about IT, but we just learn many things that I haven't thought that I would know in my life. The main mission of today, as we see, we have different kind of points here. But here in Tanzania, students can't continue robotics in school or even as a major at university. It's really difficult for them to uh, continue uh, this kind of education. Uh, but I hope uh, that once people experience, once students experience the cycle of creating something on their own, I think they can see that possibility even when they continue on with other type of education. The company offers the same training in South Korea and the United States and says teenagers here have just as much or more to offer. There may not yet be a robotics industry for them in Tanzania, but if this class can help them to reshape the lives around them, they will have reached its intended destination. Lucy Taylor, CGTN, Tanzania.